Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, Ron Purvis uh, with the Kentucky Fried Gamers here. Uh, I'm here to do a review of the uh, Vortex Customizable Miniature Skirmish Game. Uh, this game is put out by Unified Theory Games. Uh, it's a very cool game. Uh, I'm going to get to the meat and the heart of uh, exactly what makes this very cool here in just a minute. All right. Um, down here on the battlefield, that's the reason I'm doing a little bit differently. Go ahead and pan down there, Luke. Um, I've got a battle uh, waging here with uh, my son. We're playing a 2,000 point uh, uh, battle, which is uh, we'd already started the other night. We're going to try to finish it up tonight. Uh, I'm using uh, over here, I've got some, uh, some of the rippers from Starship Troopers minis. Uh, I've got some D&D uh, &D minis here. Got a Can't see the D&D &D minis. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got a dragon from the D&D &D minis, one of the uh, gargantuan dragons. You want me uh, to zoom in on Sharkerosaurus? Uh, yeah, you can zoom in on the Sharkerosaurus here. This is, uh, uh, that goes out to Warren from Beasts of War. Uh, Sharkerosaurus, that's why I named it that, because that's what you called it, even though it's a, it's a were shark miniature. But uh, I like the, the Sharkerosaurus, so I stole it from you. Uh, using some other D&D &D minis to represent spiders. Um, my son is playing, he's using these uh, shock troops uh, from War Games Factory. Uh, these are some, those are some very cool minis. I'm going to do a review on those uh, as well later. Um, the cool thing about this game is that you can play with any miniature you have uh, and it's got rules uh, in the book uh, for statting up the miniatures, uh, you know, you basically pick a miniature, you know, you could look at the miniature, if it's got a gun, just stat up a gun, you can call it whatever kind of uh, gun you want. Uh, if you want to use a Star Wars miniature and have a lightsaber, you can do that as well. Um, Alright, so we're going we're gonna to cut this and move over and uh, I'll zoom in on the rule book and kind of flip through it and give you guys some other insight. Alright? Okay, here's the uh, Vortex uh, core rulebook. Kind of got a little, there we go. I had a little bit of uh, reflection there. Um, this is the cover of the core book. Um, and of course, it's got your basic uh, table of contents. Goes through, it's got some, uh, some fluff here that you can go through to kind of give you a background of, uh, it's kind of like a big tear in the realities, you know, and so you can, you know, cross realities with dinosaurs and robots which they have the picture of here uh, they've got your basic battlefield rules telling you what to what to use uh, this game uses uh, ten siders and it's uh, based on the infinite dice rolling rule where if you roll a ten you know you get to roll another die ten if you roll another ten you get to roll another die ten you know until you quit rolling tens basically uh, it also goes uh, the other direction, which is if you roll a 1, you roll it again and subtract. So if you roll a 1, you know, and then roll, you know, a 10, then you're going to roll again and subtract it. Um, it's all explained in here. Um, they uh, also use a, a D3. You can do a D3 with this, which is basically 1, 2, 3 is 1, 4, 5, 6 is 2, uh, 7, 8, 9 is uh, 3, and 0 is, of course, 0. Um, another cool thing is their uh, their vector roll. Like if you're uh, shooting like a grenade launcher or something, you launch a grenade, you roll your dice. Yep, of course it rolls on that. You roll your dice. <laughs> you roll your dice. Uh, whichever direction the point of the dice is pointing, and the number on it tells you the variation if you don't hit uh, your scatter roll, basically. Um, the you know, it uses terrain, which you saw in here. I've got her starts. I've got some of the uh, Pegasus hobby stuff uh, out here, and I've got uh, one of the pieces over there behind the dragon was a actual aquarium piece that I painted up to look like a rock. Um, you got a rock. I got a rock. Um, your play sequence. Uh, you've got initiative check. Uh, selected player takes a turn. Activate a combatant. This is back and forth. Um, you've got some different other kinds of checks that you may need during a turn, uh, which is all explained in here. Um, you've got instant checks. It talks about movement, uh, your actions that you can do. Um, 
uh, different types of cover and what, what bonuses you get for that, uh, flanking. They've pretty much covered the gamut uh, of different things to cover different games. Um, here is some generic combatants that they've done up. They've got a uh, fodder melee fighter, uh, average, which is your basic person, uh, small, which would be more like a halfling size or something, uh, an irregular ranged fighter, uh, which is average size, a forward melee fighter, which is average size, just different, some different types of uh, an elite fighter. Uh, they've got ones, they've got a large tactical ranged fighter, which is a large brawler gigantic, which could be like a, a hill giant or something like that. A brawler large, uh, just different things. They've got heroes, heavy ranged fighters, all kinds of stuff. Uh, different types of scenarios, they've got your basic fray. Uh, which is, you know, just a simple setup for people that are just starting out the game. Um, they go into co combatant construction, which is where this excels. Uh, taking your miniature, uh, adding, you know, whatever attributes, physical representations, fluff, name it. Uh, for instance, uh, my son's characters on his, he kind of went with a wolf type theme. He's got uh, Dusk, Alpha Wolf of the Dark Wolves, which is what he's calling his unit. Got Fang, Sergeant of the Dark Wolves, uh, First Squad, uh, different different kinds of uh, characters and stuff, and you can just go through and name it. Um, like the Shark Arosaurus. I thought that was very cool, so I stole that from Warren. Um, the, uh, the Rippers, uh, I call them War Wasps. I decided to do that. Uh, you know, you add your own fluff, um, your combatant costs are covered. It's a tier system, which purchasing the attributes uses a tier system. Uh, the tier system is a cumulative point system of increasing values, thus higher tiers have greater costs. The cost of the tiers are listed below. Uh, I was just basically reading that there, uh, and it's a very cool system. It works. It's very balanced. Um, <coughs> there are, uh, they've got a ton of traits in here. Um, or the, I mean, not traits. Uh, these are your traits. They've got a ton of uh, things that you can add. Your melee weapon class, um, different kinds of. Uh, let me turn back here. Um, different kinds of uh, weapon features that you can add to the weapons. Um, you know, for instance, you got one that's got a lingering effect. It's locked. It's got reach. Uh, it's versatile. Grievous. Uh, they've got melee weapon flaws so that you can do that. Uh, they've got ranged weapons, all the same stuff for ranged weapons, weapon features, weapon flaws. Um, uh, where was I trying to get to over here? Here we go, abilities and liabilities of the characters. Uh, they've got also different types of armor, uh, flaws and benefits, uh, but abilities and liabilities are what create your character. Um, you can enhance the abilities, you can enhance the liabilities, um, they've got pre-game abilities for like scouts, tacticians, ambush, and stuff like that. Uh, they've got drop deployment listed. They've got all these different things listed in here that you can add to your character. And of course they all cost different tiers depending on the tier. will up the cost of the actual character. You know, teleportation, tackle, trample, you know, transport, crack shot, dead eye you know, dodger, dodging master, you know, all these different things in here that you can add to give character and flavor to your character. So it's not just like you're taking this miniature and, oh, it's a guy with a gun, so guy with gun. You know, you can do that, but you don't have to. You can, you know, make it something that you really enjoy and create. I'm creating an all-beast army. Um, Jim Fallon, one of the, the creators of the game, is creating a dinosaur army. Uh, Hopefully he and I will get to square off next year at Gen Con, or before, if we can get together and, and arrange it to uh, have a big battle between my beasts and his dinos. You hear that, Jim? I'm coming for you. Um, but there's all kinds of in-game in -game abilities for your melee attacks. Uh, decimating blow, um, giant killer, parry expert, just all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, your imagination is about the only thing that limits you. Um, I know that if there's something that's not in here, um, they're planning on coming out with, uh, I believe it was, uh, hey, they're going to come out with a, a book of characters and different types of combatants, uh, but I know that they're looking at, you know, some hopefully some expansions that will expand to different things that uh, maybe they didn't think of, somebody comes up with. Um, 
they have uh, they have forums on their website. It's uh, their website is unifiedtheorygames.com, I do believe. Um, I will post a link up at the bottom of this video for this. Um, but they've got you know tons. I mean, the construction is the big thing. That's what I said. This is what makes it. And they've got also got everything listed in a table, all your abilities and liabilities into a summary list, which is very cool because it's a quick reference that you can just go to. Then they've got a, this. Also has a campaign system, um, which they're they're working out some online stuff for it now, which they're trying to get up, which you can run a campaign and build build things up. Uh, they've got this. I mean, very well organized. These guys did a great job. Uh, Scott Spears, the other uh, uh, the co-creator of the game with uh, Jim Fallon, uh, great couple of guys. I got to meet them this year at Gen Con um, and playing the game. Um, these uh, uh, troopers, these shock troopers that my son built and played for, uh, he won. He ended up winning the Vortex tournament that they were running this year. And, uh, yep. He. Uh, he really loves them. There are, there are some very cool models. I mean, uh, I'll do a review on those. But anyway, back to Vortex. Um, there's all, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. They've got, you know, talk about ancient ordnance, champions, you know, just different, all kinds of things in here to set up and use. Plus, your terrain, you can, use, you can mix and match the terrain. See, we've got modern and fantasy listed in here because the world's mishmash. Uh, they've got different scenarios. They've got one here called uh, like Parley Awry. They've got Last Stand, Pawns, Pillage, uh, Prisoners of War, Reinforcements, you know, Secure the Area, just all kinds of different things that you can go through. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of uh, different variations of this game. There's no way. I mean, you could play a thousand games and never play the same game twice. Uh, I mean, and that's that's what I love about it, you know. It's got stuff, you know, figuring out how to uh, how to win the game and different things in here. Uh, the one thing that I really thought was cool was in the back, instead of like an, you know, it's kind of like an index, but uh, it's the the glossary in here has uh, the thing listed, what page in the book it's on, and what it is. Like for example, let's go down here, acrobatic master. 57 tells you it's an in-game movement ability. Action tells you what that is and what page you can find it on in the front of the book. And it does that for most all of the different things that you can do with your combatants. As well as, you know, the combat and everything else. Uh, and there are some more pre-constructed uh, combatants listed in the back. They also have... Uh, a couple of things on the website. They've got a couple of Excel uh, builders. Uh, they've got one that helps you construct the combatants, which is what we used uh, to build my sons and print them out. Uh, and uh, they've got uh, a thing back here. You know, it's a list of pre-constructed equipment that you can use. You're like, okay, for example, uh, a net, a uh, club, crowbar, gun butt, a stun baton, short sword, you know, um, laser sword. horn gore, laser sword, which is like a lightsaber, you know, just different things. So you don't necessarily have to come up with all this stuff. They've got this stuff listed in there for you. You can just pick it, go through, and add it to your character. So, um, but this book, guys, yeah, this is where they're talking about the Global War Board, which is, uh, yes, and it is, www.unifiedtheorygames.com. Uh, but the Global War Board is what they were talking about, uh, where you can basically test your medal against is against the best single ongoing worldwide campaign. Find complete with compete with players from all over the world. Post your company's combatants, pictures, victories, battle reports, and share with the world. Uh, it's a very cool uh, game. I definitely recommend this game to anybody that plays, uh, you know, does wargaming miniatures. Um, this uh, these guys have gone to great lengths to make sure that uh, this is a complete uh, set of rules that you can use um, any of your existing miniatures with. If you've got miniatures sitting around that uh, you know you don't play with anymore because the game is not supported anymore, um, like Starship Troopers, for instance, break them out, play with them. Um, 
Another example, uh, like, like the shark rhinoceros over there, that's just an individual mini that I found that I thought was very, very cool, and I wanted to add it. I've got another one upstairs um, that I found is kind of like a sea creature uh, that I want to use. Um, but, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, just because a miniature doesn't have rules for it, now they do. You can make your own. So, guys, get out there. Get over to the Unified Theory Games website. Take a look at it. Get on their forums. Email Scott and Jim. Uh, they're also on Facebook. Um, you can look them up on Facebook. Look up Unified Theory Games. Uh, definitely get with them. Check it out.